Hi, I'm Ashley Latter, author of this book, Don't Wait for the Tooth Fairy, how to communicate effectively and create the perfect patient journey. And I want to talk today about a concept from this book, one of the most important strategies that you need to really avoid. In a previous video that I did, I talked about the top five communication mistakes that dentists make in their consultations. In fact, it's five, uh, five mistakes that team members make as well. But in this episode, I want to talk about one more in Pacific, and that is providing solutions to the patient without first truly fully understanding the patient's wants and needs. In other words, it's making assumptions. How many times have you ever, ever looked at a patient by how they're dressed, by their zip code, and by maybe by the occupation, and you prejudge whether a patient can and cannot afford one of your solutions or not? Have you ever honestly done that? I have never met a dentist yet who has never ever said he's never done that or she's never said he's done that. So I want to talk a little bit about this in depth. I'm going to share a story with you. I often watch consultations in dental practices and a recent consultation, a 28 year old lady came in for a uh, consultation. She was put straight onto the dental chair and the dentist asked the patient if she had any challenges or problems. And within a couple of minutes, the patient opened up. She talked about how her teeth were crooked. She talked about how the fact she had braces fitted as a child, but never actually kept the retainers on and hence had gone back and become crooked again. She'd noticed that the dental practice had uh, uh, do invisible braces and that she would be interested in invisible braces depending on the cost. At this moment in time, I thought this would be a great opportunity for the dentist to sit down and explore in further detail about what the patient really wanted why she wanted it and what difference it could make to her. But that didn't happen. So for the next five minutes, the dentist became an independent financial advisor. She then put the patient in the chair. She did the examination. The patient came back up again. The dentist told the patient a filling was needed. And as she went to the reception desk to pick up the leaflet on teeth straightening. So what happened here? Patient walked in with a problem and she walked out with a leaflet. And no questions were asked about what the patient really wanted. And what happened is the dentist had made an assumption about whether the patient wanted to go ahead or not based around the one word she said, which was cost. And no questions were asked. And I see this happening all the time. In the UK, I come across lots of UK, uh, dentists in the UK who make an assumptions about who work in the National Health Service who will never ever offer private uh, options to patients because they don't think they can afford it. Maybe it's a deprived area and the patients haven't got the money to pay for treatment. So if I urge you one thing, please never make assumptions about your patients. If you ever get an opportunity, explore it in depth and ask lots and lots of questions. And please don't make the criminal sales mistake. And the criminal sales mistake is this, is offering a prescription to the patient without first finding out what the diagnosis is. Prescription before diagnosis is malpractice. Please never ever make assumptions about your patients. And if you don't do this, you'll create more opportunities, more opportunities to deliver the dentistry that you love to do, and most importantly, your patients want. Dentists who have taken my two-day ethical sales and communication course and just speak to them either at a network, events, a conference, or on the telephone, often they will tell me that they've created more work by asking lots of questions. And this also is with existing patients as well.